Hello and welcome to Drake Day at Fleet Week. It is the 28th of May and it is Drake Defense Con. We're going to go in and have a look to see what's available. We, we know that the mules are available, I suppose, to buy. That's a new one. Um, and I'll put that on the screen. Ooh, the mule little cargo vehicle. It can carry six little hand crates and two uh, larger um, single SU crates, one in the front and one on the back. Or at least eventually it will be able to. Um, it's got like a little forklift. It's got a little sort of um, under under carriage nook um, and you're going to be able to use these to you know ferry little packages around uh, the game it's going to be absolutely fantastic for looting areas or for loading and unloading ships um, uh, whether that be planet side or wherever else you're unloading them um, but yeah they're, they're going to have a lot more functionality in the near future as the game expands uh, so uh, from 40 dollars as well Effectively for a lifetime insurance token, if you if you buy it with uh, war bonds, buy it with new money. Um, I'm, I really like it. I think it's a cool little thing. Anyway, back to Defence Con. Um, so we got a, a wide selection of Drake ships available for you today. Um, what? Defence Con exclusive. What? Why is it? Why is it counting down? I don't know why it's counting down. Maybe I'll uh, work out why later. Uh, so you got Drake Defense Con going on. Uh, we've got the mighty Caterpillar in the center. This is a super um, modular cargo ship. Um, so it's mainly focused on cargo at the moment, but the front and then its four um, central modules will be able to be swapped out for uh, different things in the future. So this could be things like um, stuff that helps you with mining or barracks or armories or um, things for repair or things for salvage. Lots, lots of different functionality potentially um, with lots of different modularity. Maybe it can do some science stuff. Maybe it can do uh, quite a lot of different things. And we're still waiting on the full list uh, and for Clan Imperium to go, you know what, we're working on the modularity of that Caterpillar. Um, eventually, that little command module is supposed to be able to separate and rejoin and things like that as well. But at the moment, it's a fantastic, um, pretty large cargo ship, um, pretty pretty useful. Um, and eventually, these little lifts on the side will uh, allow you to easily load and unload. Um, Welcome to Defense Con. So they're actually able to come down and be act as ramps or act as elevators for things like the uh, the little uh, mule that we showed earlier. What else have we got here? We oh, oh, the vulture. So, we've got the Drake Vulture here, which is pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, we'll actually um, go on board and have a proper look. So, the Vulture, um, we're expecting in 3.18, it's going to allow you to do salvage. Um, and then there's going to be somewhere on board that you can um, basically have that salvage stuff and then reload a salvage tool and then use that salvage like stuff to repair hulls as well. Uh, but obviously you're going to have to make money just from hull stripping. Um, to this is fantastic. Um, I did not expect to see it at the expo hall. These are dangerous times. That's why Drake so we, we will have a look around. It's uh, something I'm really excited about seeing salvage in game. That 3.18 patch is now the Q3 patch. A lot of the buttons aren't going to work because uh, I suspect it's not fully finished yet. Um, so this is probably where the magic happens. Uh, all this, this squishy, squashy salvaginess. Um, what can we do here? Oh, nice. So the lights. I like the sort of more Nostromo um, alien feel of like the retro tech, a bit chunky tech from uh, from Drake. So we've got a little bed here. That's gonna be open. What are we opening here? Our component storage. Uh, what's this for? This is for something. I can't tell if it's for salvage, storage, um, food. Um, it could be any of those. Uh, we do have a restroom as well. So, integrated shower, toilet. And uh, then the cockpit. If you get into that chair and then get out, you're gonna end up. These are dangerous times. 
That's why Drake Interplanetary oh. has ships that not only provide function and power at a price that we can all afford. So that gentleman there is warning me that when I get out of the chair, that I'll be teleported on the side of the ship. Oh, I'm liking the look of this vulture. Look at him. And there is like a an entry side on that that ladder on the side there. I suppose at the very least it's an emergency exit and en uh, slash entrance. Welcome to Defense Con. While we are Drake Well, this is a little surprise, and I'm glad we had it. Oh. We'll uh, we'll have a proper look at the uh, ship later. And let's jump out of that chair. Okay. So the chair just let you out here. Whether you need to hold cargo the first. Protect your homestead from outlaw packs. Drake's got your back. So it lets you out here. That's normally. Oh, that's weird. That is kind of cool, though. <laughs> and if someone. <laughs> I suppose no one else can be firing if you're. If it's just the pilot. I think. Yeah, okay. It's like, what if someone's firing the guns as you get out? Well, it's unlikely. Um, if anything, it adds uh, to the protection of your ship if someone's trying to get in. You could just shoot to them as they pass by. Um, We've all been there. Let's use the ladder rather than just jumping down. Although we do sure. just jump down. Cool. Well, that's a nice little surprise. Loving that. Um, what else do we have? We've got the Cutlass Red. And it's got a tier 3 medical bed in the back. It's got two of them, in fact. And for healing and curing mal maladies. Um, really, really useful. Does not act as a, a respawn point anymore. But... Um, with longer sort of death times and when you're running in a group and if you want to do emergency sort of rescue and medical gameplay this is going to be really really useful and um, it's a fantastic ambulance and it's going to get much more uh, way in sort of it's going to be much more effective and much more useful once we have more of death of the spaceman and players not wanting to die and respawn and a lot more of the medical Welcome gameplay sort of coming online uh, we've got the drake well, we cutlass drake blue this is um actually my favorite cutlass um, it's a police car, uh, so it's heavily armoured, um, it's the idea, it's got cells in the back um, that will allow... So let's open up through here. I hope I don't crash you, dude. Okay. It's got a little section here which you could store um, some cargo and, and maybe a little tiny vehicle in if you wanted. If you can sort of fit it in. And then you've got the cells uh, in there as well. But yeah, the idea is it's more armoured, absolutely fantastic ship. Um, not seen too much around the verse yet, uh, but it is uh, it is my preferred one. I mean, I love the Drake Cutlass Black just because of its cheapness. Is there anything exciting over here? Or is it just supposed to be like an exposed hall? I think it's just yeah. I think it just leads off into. Oh, this is a, a much bigger area, but there's nothing really going on there. We also have the Drake Buccaneer. Um, so this is a. Um, I, I think it's classified as a medium fighter. It's just a load of guns attached to a ship that can all be shot off. Um, so it's it's pretty agile, and it's got a large amount of firepower for what it is. Um, so it's, it's very dangerous, uh, but um, it does not do well in prolonged fights, um, as bits of it um, are quite exposed and easy to take out. Um, but yeah, very cool ship if you want to bring firepower, um, and you want something that's Welcome not to too expensive for, for that. Um, we've got the Cutlass Steel here. So this is the dropship variant of the Cutlass series, um, the newest one. Um, it's got a load of um, these sort of like guns that are manable on the side, two on each side. And you've got the uh, one on the rear here as well, on the ramp. Uh, and then you've got a rear turret and a load of other um, sort of firepower uh, on the ship that you'd expect from a Cutlass. I mean, the rear, tur uh, the rear turret up there as well is just fantastic. Um, really, really useful. Um, but then you've got a load of drop seats as well. I think it's, is it 16? Can I count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, and then you've got 12. And then you've got 14, 16, 17. Got 18? Is it 18? Yes, 18. Yeah, 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 yeah. 18 in the back. Probably. I mean, if, if I can count. Maybe I can't. And then you've got your, your typical little Drake setup. But yeah. Um, if you're in into drop ships, it's a it's a it's an option. I mean there's so many now, isn't there? Um this is sort of like one of the ones they went uh, for jump town, this is fantastic. Um it's a cool ship. 
I just think there's so many dropships and so much choice now. I mean, I, I'm quite interested in the Legionnaire at the moment because it's the newest one. And then you've got the Drake Cutlass Black. Um, it's cheap and effective. It's solid for cargo. Super great multi-role, multi-class ship. Um, for for a medium-sized sort of crew. It's a, medium. it's a small crew. But it's a, it's a medium-ish ship. Really like the Drake Cutlass Black. Uh, and then, as I said earlier, we've got the... Um, little tiny um, mule here. So, mule is new. It is drivable today um, if you purchase it. Oh, and I can. You can rent it as well. You can rent it at the moment too. Which is uh, super useful. Uh, I wonder if. Defense cons are great opportunity to you can only rent it for the next few minutes. Or if it would disappear or something. It would go back in the crate. Yeah, because this is supposed to be like a, a crate here. Um, maybe it hides itself again? I don't know. Um, that's kind of cool, though. An error has a card. We rented it. Cool. Okay. So that's it for the expo hall. But there's a load more Drake stuff on the website at the moment. Um... I do quite like the feel of these halls as well. That's pretty cool, eh? Look at this. We've got the Drake Herald over here as well. I sort of missed out some ships and the uh, what I assume is a hollow deck. Um, maybe the dragonflies will be in there as well. Uh, so we've got the Herald here. This is a fast A to B straight line sort of data runner is the idea. Um, it's not got much use in the game yet because we need the data running mechanics. But... Um, it's cool. It's a bit of a tick. Um, yeah. Cool ship. Really looking forward to it actually um, having functionality in the game. What have we got in here? Anything interesting? Got some Drake merch. Ah, I think we've got the ability to rent all the other ships that were previously rentable. Was it just Drake stuff here? So, okay. So, just the Drake stuff here at the moment. Uh, but I believe uh, on the 20... Uh, on the 30th and 31st, you're going to be able to rent all ships from these consoles, um, most likely. Um, that's cool. Once you can rent the mule straight from here as well. Fantastic. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, got the merch. And then we've got... And we do have some cool stuff in the sides as well. So we've got the Dragonfly. It's, it's a cool floating space bike. I'm really looking forward to the Ranger, though. That's actually a wheeled bike, but obviously um, that's not a... It's a tumbrel. Um, bike, not a not a Drake one, but they're cool. You can have someone facing in the rear firing the gun, have someone uh, flying it for you. It's, you can have a bit of cargo. It's, it's a cool utility bike with, with some guns. What do we got on the left side here? So we got a Kraken, got an old Kraken boy. Um, so the Kraken is basically a flying space station. It can carry uh, a load of ships and a load of dragonflies. Um, or bikes or, or whatever, so a load of smaller craft. Um, it's got um, the ability and facilities to uh, repair and rearmor and fuel those ships. It's got a load of cargo space as well. And yeah, if you want sort of like a um, mobile light assault carrier, that this is it for you. Now I say it's like a space station, but the Kraken Privateer is true to the space station variant as it takes away some of that cargo space and the sort of like dedicated bay for the dragonflies and replaces it with like a little shopping mall on board. Um, so they're very expensive. They're on the website. They're going to be sold in waves. And uh, we'll talk about that in a second. What else have we got over here? Oh, so we do have your, your little Drake exploration boy with the Corsair. So... This is going to be a no-frills exploration ship. It's going to be fantastic for multi-role missions as well. I think a lot of players are like, oh, this this is sort of the, the ship for me. Uh, but yeah, for, for um, exploring, scanning stuff down, um, going on long-distance space adventures. But if you don't want to spend as much uh, money on the, like, the Carrack uh, or the Odyssey, uh, then the Corsair is probably the ship for you. Um, it's... Very interesting asymmetrical design, asymmetric design. Um, I think a lot of people are super excited for it. So let's see what's available to purchase on the website. 
uh, from Drake Interplanetary from their Defense Con. Obviously, we've got that Drake Mule that's just been released. That's available from $40 um, if you're interested. And uh, if you buy it at Warbond, it does appear that it is effective as a lifetime insurance token at the moment. Um, so what else do we have? We've got the Buccaneer, um, $110. That is that sort of um, medium fighter with a load of firepower, but maybe not the best defense. Uh, the Caterpillar from $330, that heavy transport, heavy freight ship. Um, it's going to be very modular in the future. We've got the Corsair, $215. I think that's a pretty good price for sort of that multi-role, but more focused on exploration ship for uh, a sort of a small to medium-sized crew. Um, it's going to be very uh, good fun for people that want to do that exploration. Um, then we've got the Cutlass Black, $100 for a um, really uh, quite effective, useful um multi-role I and mean, it's listed here as medium fighter medium freight um but uh, it's, it's very very multi-role um with a small crew i've got the cutlass blue 175 dollars quite expensive but it is um sort of more focused at that, at that bounty hunting um and having a bit more um armor i've got the cutlass red 135 dollars the ambulance craft um I, I do really like the cutlass blue and the cutlass red um sort of emergency and medical gameplay is, is my thing 235 dollars for the cutlass steel i think that's a bit overpriced personally it is certainly a cool uh, little um uh, ship though and um, if you want to do sort of drop ship stuff but i think there's lots of other alternatives and we've got the uh, dragonfly and um, there's the yellow and there's the black but it's just the black that's available at the moment that's 40 dollars uh, cool space bike um I, I do think they're really really quite good fun but the herald not much use in the game yet uh, but 85 dollars eventually it will be able to do that data running um and do it very fast, uh, but not it's not going to have as much like data banks as the uh, Mercury Star Runner does. And then we've got limited stock. So on the Kraken, so the Kraken and the Kraken Privateer are both on sale. Um, the Kraken is at $1,650, and the Privateer is $2,000. Oh my God, they're so expensive. So incredibly expensive ships. They're available, um, well, until the current stocks um, are, are sold and then again at 12 a.m utc and then again i believe at 8 a.m utc so three waves currently which is almost certainly sold out uh, and then uh, again at midnight and 8 a.m uh, so kraken yeah it's a fantastic little flying fortress um and then you've got your, your your space shopping mall with the privateer i really love the idea of the privateer i just i'm in love with it but i've got a, a banny merchantman so um, I think I, I don't know. I don't know whether I want to uh, buy more. Um, Drake Mule, $45. I think it's available from 40 if you buy it at Warbond. Um, and uh, cool. Give it a go. It's uh, it's going to be very useful in the game in the future. Um, something I'll probably buy in-game because um, I don't like spending money on uh, the ground vehicles very much. Uh, sometimes I do. Um, but it's uh, great for a lifetime insurance token, I, I suspect. And if you want to then upgrade it to a, another hull and keep the lifetime insurance. Um, and then we've got the Drake Vulture, which was surprisingly um, on show today. Uh, $140 for entry level salvage. Salvage coming in 3.18 with that Drake Vulture. Fantastic. Super excited about that. Uh, so anything else? Um, get it with 10-year insurance. If you upgrade, uh, if you get a war bond upgrade. Uh, get to Drake Defense Con by going to the Dunlow spaceport, going up in the elevator there. Um, or, uh, and then you can just see Drake Defense Con, um, so it's not at the Vision Center. But yeah, that's it for your little Drake Defense Con tour. Uh, we will be looking at the Mule and the Vulture in a bit more detail uh, later, um, because um, I want to. Uh, but yeah, uh, check it out. Tell me what you think. Are you going to be purchasing anything at Defense Con? What have you thought about the rest of uh, sort of Fleet Week? Um, have you bought anything? Are you really enjoying it? Are you excited for three? Point seventeen point two coming out at the end of June, hopefully. Um, whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I saw NordVPN once. I was in a forest late at night. I'd got lost, and then I heard it, an unearthly sound as if the wind was talking to me. NordVPN.com slash board gamer. Then I saw him run at me. He was so free, almost as if he could be anywhere in the world. America, France, Australia. He was so secure, protected in layers of encryption that I could not even fathom. So majestic. Well, I heard that NordVPN was as big as a bear and could kick your head off. I've also heard that, which is why, just in case, I go to nordvpn.com slash boardgamer to appease the beast. You can find links to that down below. If you're looking for a new god, why not try NordVPN?
Every month we have a ship giveaway, this time for May to celebrate Star Citizen Alpha 3.17's release, we're giving away three prizes to three separate winners. An Origin 100i luxury starter ship, a consolidated Outland Nomad versatile freighter, and an Aegis Avenger Titan multi-role ship. They all come with lifetime insurance and access to play Star Citizen. To be in for a chance of winning one of those three prizes, just comment on any of my videos made during May. More details in the description below. Thank you so much to everyone that watches, shares, comments, and likes my videos. It really does help the channel grow. Be sure to subscribe for more content. If you would like to go to the extra mile in supporting the channel, there is Patreon links below. There's a join button under my videos as well on YouTube that makes you a highly elite channel member with some extra perks and exclusive content. There's also the thanks button, which straight up gives us money, and you can leave a highlighted comment. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great May 2022.